Alright. Excellent. So shall we begin? Yeah. Please have, take a seat. Yeah, let's wait. Yeah. Ah, good. Hello, everyone. I am glad to be here to present actually some of my thoughts about the new trend that is occurring all over the world about using LLMs for actually enriching Wikipedia and Wikidata. So, that project actually is a part of a, a most important project about the development of the uh, use of Wikidata in the clinical practice. Yeah, so this is a lecture, but it is not a very technical uh, lecture. We are actually mainly focusing on the practical side of the thing, and we will try to simplify what LLM mean uh, in a way that it can be intelligible with people with no background, uh, with no knowledge in computer science, etc. Yeah. So as you already know, this year was where it was a heavy, actually, echo about uh, LLMs. We have that chat GPT strike, and then we have many competitors that have appeared of, on the scene. And actually, as, as you, you have seen during the conference, there, are, there were many sessions about LLMs. Have you attended some of them so far? Yeah. Yeah, quite a few. As you see, there are many, many important applications of LLMs. They, many people say that they will change the world. Yeah, so now we have BART that is issued by Google, ChatGPT of OpenAI, and there is another competitor that is growing a little bit that is called the Cloud. Yeah, so the main assumption I have seen around is that we can let LLM edit Wikipedia and Wikidata. We LLMs can create Wikipedia and Wikidata items from scratch. LLMs can evaluate Wikipedia or Wikidata. Well, this is not true, at least for the moment. A very simple explanation of LLM will let you know that LLM are not that reliable to let, to let them take the lead. Well, how LLM works? So, what, uh, what anyone will do is that he will formulate a question. But this question actually is biased. What, is, what that means? That means the answer that you will get will depend on the answer of the question you will uh, formulate and give to the machine. And by that, there is all a new discipline called prompt engineering that is concerned specifically in how to define the question called as prompt. Yeah, so what LLM will do with that prompt? So it will divide it into some ch chunks of a few words. And so it will use this series of words, actually, uh, to find out uh, what the question means. And so what, what, he, what will be done by the LLM after doing that is that it will search around the internet using embedded techniques and position encoding to find what fits to that to that question in some way. And then generate the answer in a way. Yeah, so what, what, how the answer is generated actually, the transformer will use your, the tokens of your prompt to identify the beginning of the sentence. 
And then what will happen is just it will use probability to complete the answer. So it will take some words and it takes a question and then it will auto complete the answer one by one by one by one, as you see here in blue. Until it is finished. So you see, after a few moments, actually, and after this incremental approach is finished, you will find the whole paragraph. But this is the problem, actually, because if, if the, the LLM uh, generates long answer and the chunk of, uh, of the words that is used to build, actually, the answer actually is limited, he, he, the LLM will uh, kind of forget by the end where, where, when, where he did he start. So actually, he, he will generate some kinds of hallucination by the end. And also, it is mainly trained uh, to give the answers that he was, uh, that it was uh, actually used to train it. If the answer does not exist, it will not give actually uh, the right answer. It will just kind of predict the answer or guess it. Yeah, but the, th the only thing that is good about LLMs is that it can give you the right shape of the answer with certainty because it is mainly based on embedding and, and, uh, and positional encoding. And these things actually kind of uh, are very straightforward, actually, to find out how the answer should look like to be credible. And this is the thing, actually, that probably the Wikimedia community should benefit of. Yeah. So concerning actually the, the thing of, uh, about hallucination, there was a paper right before the, this uh, vague about uh, ChatGPT that has appeared two years ago. It is called On the Dangers of Stochastic Parrots. And this is actually written by Emily Bender, one of the most renowned linguists uh, in the world. And uh, this kind of, uh, uh, of paper actually shows you why LLM actually hallucinates. Yeah, so now that we have known uh, how LLM works, so probably we can jump in to see what are the rules that we can follow actually to use LLMs to edit Wikipedia and Wikidata instead of letting it do all the stuff. Okay, so the first rule is quite predictable, is that we should not let LLMs do full pages, uh, quick statement batches. Uh, uh, we, uh, don't, uh, we should not also rely on Wikidata IDs that are generated by LLM-based chatbots, etc. So as you see here, there is an example. And if you, if you evocate, for example, a very common uh, concept that exists in Wikidata, like a plant, you will find the right one. For example, here, if we ask we, uh, ChatGPT about uh, the concept that is uh, that, that corresponds to plant in Wikidata, uh, it will return Q756. That is the right answer. But if you search about a market in a place, in a random place, like this one in Accra, Ghana, you, you will find something random. All right. So, Instead, what we should do instead? Actually, we, we, we should do as usual, do a search on Wikipedia or on Google Scholar to actually find scholarly publications that are corresponding to, uh, to the topic that we would like to enrich. For example, to, if we would like for, to, to go for 
a paper, a, a Wikipedia page about Tunisian science, we can actually search for papers related to Tunisian science and actually uh, use them to uh, to write uh, to write the paper using uh, to write the Wikipedia page using ChatGPT. As well, I actually we we can we can also do our check of on whether a source is reliable using the criteria on Wikipedia reliable source. So it is quite simple to do, and uh, it does not cost anything. The second, the third thing actually is that we you need yourself after collecting the information from different resources. Actually, you need to generate the summary of the paper, and you you don't have like in when uh, using the classical format when you edit Wikipedia to write it as a structured paragraph. You just need to write bullet points about what each re reference uh, includes. And so li like this, main points like I, I have done here, point one, point two, point three, point four, point five, point six. And you can even sometimes co copy if, if the text of, uh, of the resource of the reference is short, you can even paste all the paper or all the, the article, the newspaper item, if you, if you have one, and paste it on, on, uh, on ChatGPT and ask, and ask it to do the bullet points for you. And it will generate it. And that if you compare the paragraph uh, on the top but with actually the main generated points, you will find that uh, they completely fit. But you need to verify that it does not actually uh, ge generate pilot points that are not in the text. So human verification actually is very important. And actually, if you write in the prompt that re please rely only on the, the, the text that I have provided to you, actually this will help uh, to prevent the LLM to generate hallucination for you. The point four is that uh, you need to do a precise prompt. That's the key point. So you, you, will, you will have to experiment with the prompts, write several queries about uh, for, for the LLM to generate you the right uh, score, uh, the right score, uh, the right uh, Wikipedia page for you. So, for example, you, you will say to, to it, please include all the references that I have provided to you, pr provide all the ballot points. Uh, if you are using, for example, Wikidata ID, please be specific. Say that, that I am talking about these items. This is the item, the Wikidata items that are interesting for me to include in, uh, in my quick statements batch. And please use them. And these are the Wikidata ID of, of the stuff that I would like uh, to include in my batch. Also, use the, the ref tags, actually, to include the reference after every new statement. This is what you need to specify to the prompt as well. So you need to tell, to tell it, please actually add these ref tags all over the articles so that the article can be verifiable. Also, you can ask the LLM actually to include categories and info boxes. And they generally work. Yeah, the rule number five actually is that you, you can use the LLM for language proofreading and translation. And actually, many of the papers have about uh, ChatGPT and BART and many other uh, resources have proved that, that uh, LLMs are better in translation and proofreading than in generating text. So if you have a text, give it to the LLM, it will translate it for you. And just like the, the state of the art machine translation made models. Yeah, but, but for that, you need to check that the source and target languages are used to train the LLM.
because not all the multilingual LLMs are trained on all languages. So uh, there, there is a specificity that you need to check before applying this to uh, a LLM based chatbot. The sixth rule is that do not directly put the input of LLM in a Wikipedia page. So please, if you use that, please put it in a sandbox so that administrators and other people verify it before se sending it actually uh, to, the main, to, the, to, uh, to the main name space. Yes, the same for Wikidata. Please check quick statements best before uploading them to Wikidata. Yeah, so that's all what I have to say here. Uh, I hope that the session was a bit light. I tried <laughs> at the end. So if you have any question, please jump in and ask me. These are my contacts. You can actually ask me any question. If you need, for example, my business card, they are here. Please contact me. I will give you uh, my business card as well. Thank you. Yeah, any question? <laughs> yeah, the slides actually are, are available on Commons. Thank you. Uh, uh, let me show you. How do we get the slides? Yeah, uh, actually the slides are available on Commons. You're right, uh, on Commons, the category is Wikimania 2023 presentations, and you will find there my, all my presentation, uh, and there they are. Actually, the, the, the presentations are also streamed on YouTube, and you can find them there as well. Any other question? It's fine. Thank you very much.